It is day one back in England. And I'm out walking my favorite boy, Shadow, the Doberman. <laughs> you doing, bud? I missed him. And I'm feeling a lot more optimistic than I was yesterday. Because when I came back from the airport, I was thinking it was all doom and gloom. Seeing the gray, seeing the rain. Those feelings coming back of the bit of depression, anxiety of being like, from what I was feeling in this environment before. But today I'm feeling way better. And I think the main reason for that is because I have a goal, is because I have an objective and a vision that I'm working towards. I know I don't want to stay in England forever. I want to stay here ideally as short as time as possible. The plan is three months maximum. And I know I said yesterday in my video I want to make 6,000 pounds, but to be honest, I woke up this morning thinking I'm, I'm not really excited about the 6,000 pounds. So after I paid the two to my friend and off to, you know, to pay off my guitar, leaves me with three. And to move to a new city or a new country, it's still not a huge amount of money to get me started and to give me this breathing room to be able to focus on building my coaching business or any other business for that matter when I get there. Because I know I don't wanna be working for someone else again. I love having the freedom and the independence of working for myself. And I want that safety and that cushion to be able to do so. So the plan is 10. And it's interesting because in that video I made yesterday at the airport, when I was playing it back and editing it, I heard myself say something like, I, I'm thinking my goal is 10, but I don't wanna be here that long, so I'm gonna make it six in terms of the thousands of pounds I wanted to make. And that was a big, aha, interesting moment because it was saying to me, what I took from that is that I think the length of time, what the money I can make is dependent on the length of time that I spend trying to make money. In which case that my mind is still connected to the time for money thinking line, basically, instead of the time for results way of thinking. And so if I do bigger jobs and I'm creative and I get leverage, I hire some people to help me do the work to make it faster. There's no reason why I can't make larger amounts of money in the same amount of time. But if I'm still tied and attached to the time for money way of thinking, that I'm, I'm limited in how much money I can make because I get X amount per hour and if I wanna make more, it's gonna take longer, then that's super limiting. Whereas when we think time for results, we can expand so much more to think right, to think creatively, to be like, how can I make more money in the same amount of time frame or less? And that's when ideas come to us and there's serendipitous opportunities and we can, we can achieve bigger goals. So I checked myself and I was like, no, Elliot, that's not true. You don't work in a way that's time for money. You work time for results. So let's set a bigger goal that we're excited about even if we don't know yet how we're going to achieve it, we trust that the universe, as long as we keep taking actions, the universe is gonna put the right people in front of us at the right times as we move towards it to help us achieve that goal. And that's having the faith, having the trust, having the belief, which is required for manifesting results. Especially when we want to break out of the same habitual patterns and results and experiences. We want new, we want more, we want bigger. We don't know how to make bigger yet. And so there has to be an element of trust and belief. When you set a larger goal that's very different, that there are forces on your side, that as long as you maintain that faith and you keep moving towards it, that are gonna help you out. And that's what I'm doing. Another reason why I'm feeling 
I'm more excited today is because I've been doing a lot of things, being very proactive, like I said yesterday, to move towards that goal. Not just waiting around for things to, to fall in my lap. I've also changed my affirmations that I'm writing down in the morning. I realized that in the process of manifestation, we need to work. We need to take action. We need to move about in the world to bring ourselves into contact and alignment with people, forces, opportunities that are going to make the things happen that we want to happen. If we just sit in one place, if we just lay in bed or sit at home, we don't give ourselves the opportunity to come into contact and align with the situations necessary for our desires to manifest. And I have, for so many years, I have had an attitude of, oh, I hate work, oh, I can't be bothered to work. And the work also comes in the form of, I guess, putting in effort for things, taking action to make things happen. And don't get me wrong, I don't think many people really like work. <laughs> um, especially if you're trapped in a time for money, working mindset, or you're very limited in what you're, you're doing, or you're achieving, or the income you're making, and then the lifestyle that you're living doesn't support or align with your, your dreams and your goals. And yeah, work becomes very unexciting. But now that I know by working smarter in this way, by setting bigger goals, by understanding more how manifestation works, that I'm a bit more excited to work because I have way more belief that the things that I desire in the life I'm trying to create is going to manifest as a result. Still though, there are still those blocks and still those, this, the word still triggers me in a way, work. It's an icky word for me. And so I've changed my manifestation, my, my affirmations in the mornings too. I love working and I love making money. And I write them down to fill up a whole page of paper in the morning. I do the same when I go to bed because I'm trying to change my attitude towards working towards taking action so today as i've been going about messaging people creating marketing materials for my construction come up coming up with additional plans and ideas how i'm going to make my goals a reality there's been this voice in the back of my mind that has been whispering i love working i love making money <laughs> and so the way that I feel during the day while I'm taking action, while I'm putting in the work is way better. I realize that my mindset and those subconscious repetitive patterns and voices and thoughts used to say, I hate working. This is loads of effort. I'd rather be at home. Blah, 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 blah. And if someone, imagine your, your thoughts, your voice is another person. If someone was whispering that to you in your ear all day long, of course you're going to get demotivated. Of course you're going to want to quit. You're going to want to bail out. You're not going to put in the effort required to get somewhere. And it's just so interesting that from one day, of one morning of reciting these new affirmations, my attitude towards work is changing drastically. As well as that just through these small efforts, I've also been thinking to myself, be great if some more dog sitting work comes up because then I have somewhere else to stay, not only for free, but I'll also get paid. And the owner of Shadow that I'm walking now has asked for me to be, to be available around the end of April to sit for a few weeks. And when I was sending out one of my flyers to my friend's mum about construction work, she messaged back. I didn't say anything about dog sitting, but she messaged back saying, one of my friends is actually looking for a, a dog house sitter. If you'd be interested, can I send, a, send them my, my details? And I was like, yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And so I can see how even, even when it's not a direct result of the actions we're putting in, the universe hears us. 
it knows what we want. And because we're taking action, it puts thoughts and ideas into other people's minds to suggest and bring us into alignment with the things that we want, really want and what we're trying to create. I didn't, message, I didn't mention to my friend's mum about the dog sitting, but she had this thought, this idea that came from the collective intelligence, the collective consciousness. It was like, oh, maybe I suggest to Elliot, but you know, put this forward to Elliot. So I'm really excited to see what kind of big muddy construction projects come to me as I continue to take these efforts as I'm going about my marketing efforts to create the jobs and what else might fall into my lap other big money opportunities that might be unrelated to dogs or construction who knows we don't need to know how we just need to know what we want understand the universe is helping us to align us and with the right people in the right situations in the right places at the right times to make that happen and the how might be very different than you thought as long as you hold the belief and you keep taking action we move towards the towards the vision towards the dream so i'm gonna keep you posted i'm gonna enjoy this walk with shadow and every day we're gonna follow the process of manifesting this ten thousand pounds also paying off the two grand for the guitar and the loan to my friend to leave the UK in three months time to either so I'm excited van life around Europe or travel to Australia to see my buddy I'm not sure which one yet I think it's going to be one or two I'm very excited about that cool peace out see you tomorrow